Dinosaur Trouble by Stefan Eichhorn. The chase was on. Patrick, the pink bow tie boy, was running after Otto, ready to finally stop the mischievous elephant. I will catch you, he exclaimed. Patrick was getting close when... Otto ran into a dark and gloomy cave, not knowing what he might find in there. Patrick had no other choice but to follow. He needed to stop Otto. What both Patrick and Otto did not know was this was no ordinary cave. It was a tunnel to a long forgotten world. Ah! Spinning and falling, both elephants fainted. When Otto awoke, he looked around himself in awe. What is this world and how is it possible that there are still dinosaurs roaming on the plains? He spoke to himself. Were they not extinct? Patrick opened his eyes and was surprised to see that he landed in a prehistoric world, a world that everyone believed had been lost a long time ago. He thought, how did I end up here and how am I going to get back home? After walking for a long time, Patrick finally met a group of Cosmo Dinos and their tribe's eldest, the wise dino Ellie. Welcome to our world, the kind elephant greeted Patrick. The dinos were happy to see Patrick and offered to help him find his way home. They were just about to tell him when suddenly the earth started shaking. Otto had made his way up to the volcano's crater and had yet thought of another plan to stop Patrick and his magical bow tie. If Patrick is not able to return to our world, then I will win. And with that, he tossed his pumpkin into the flaming lava. The volcano began to rumble and hot, fiery lava was beginning to flow down the side of the mountain. The dinosaurs panicked and started to move, shaking the ground beneath their feet in their frenzy. Trembling grounds had sent an earthquake across the land that shook the Cosmo Dinos cave so much that a giant boulder fell from the top in front of the cave's entrance. With this enormous rock blocking the way, Patrick was stuck in this strange world. He knew he had to do something. Patrick needed to call upon the power of the bow tie. Patrick called out, By the power of the bow tie, I have the power! His fellow bow tie boys appeared and encircled him. With lightning sizzling in the air and a thundering sound, Patrick turned himself into the incredibly strong mammoth bowtie boy. In this mighty form, he was able to move even the heaviest objects. Patrick grew his tusks and grew his body to transform into a mammoth. With strong legs and a powerful back, he moved the giant boulder to unblock the cave's entrance with ease. Thank you, Patrick. We could not have done it without your help, the dinos said as they explained to Patrick how to enter the cave to get back to his world. The dino Ellie was impressed with the power of this pink bowtie boy. Back in his world, Patrick could not help but wonder where Otto had vanished. Where is this no good elephant? I hope he has learned his lesson this time and leaves us good elephants alone from now on. The End